So here's our plan for the inside of this uh, Superdome car, HO scale. And uh, we've come a long way in a year. So we have the caboose boards that have been upgraded. We now have super caps. And so uh, what we did is we split these off. We, we sanded down the edge. We had enough room, a couple of millimeters, uh, that we could fit them inside of these stays. Then we have our dome board, which we cut to length and just trimmed a little bit there. And then we have another caboose board down here and we put the super cap end to end. And in this case, we cut the uh, stays a little bit to fit this flat with the roof. And what we're going to do is uh, put this uh, remaining piece of dome board uh, on top of the super caps. And that will be, that's since we've uh, changed our configurations, our boards are flatter and thinner, uh, the boards are thinner, and so that'll work. And so the, the caboose board at this end will control uh, its own lights and the dome. And then this board will control, uh, will connect the, the short piece of dome board to the main caboose, the mains, and then we'll connect the what's usually reserved for the red rear LEDs, will connect them to the dome board that's on the bottom of this. And this is, this is what sits on top of the center section of the car. You can't see it now, but we're gonna attach dome boards to the underside of this section here, and it'll look pretty cool. And it's very neat and clean. It's gonna take us a little bit of time to do the wiring and grind down the bottom side so everything sits it's really flush and neat, but uh, it's looking pretty good. Perhaps one of the most challenging parts of this project is connecting our power wires, DCC, to the nickel silver uh, tabs that are already built into the wheel pickups. Uh, we can't solder to them, actually. It's, it gets too hot and it's too, uh, it risks melting the plastic. So what we do is we run some floating brass strips up the backside and expose the brass on the outside, which we then, uh, yeah, sorry, on the inside that we can then solder to, which we've done here. And we take some uh, copper foil tape and just fasten the brass strips on to the uh, vertical part of the nickel silver and that's connects to, to the wheel track. So that all works uh, pretty well. And the last step, is this little cap fits on the back and that will keep everything uh, secure in there.